Hello, this is Daniel from Trusted Tutorials. Today we're going to have a look at how to create a drop-down list in Google Sheets. So why is creating a drop-down list important in Google Sheets? The first use case might be that you have data and you want to enter the data really fast. So it really helps if you have like predefined values that you can easily select. And another common use case I see a lot is if you have a Google Sheets document that you share with others and you want them to add some kind of input. But um, on each cell there are only certain values that you want to allow. And for that drop down lists are absolutely perfect. But anyways, without further ado, let's just uh, jump right into the document and see how you can do that. I started and created a data set of uh, evaluation and grades for let's suppose students and I now want to transform that in a drop down list. So the first thing to do is I go on the menu item data and then we are looking for data validation. This is uh, down here, it's in the one, two, three, in the fourth section here, in the second option, data validation. I click on it and it opens up. So the first thing it asks is the cell range. So the cell range is where you want to add the drop down. So since I have already clicked into a cell, it's going to be D2. And as you can see, it starts with the uh, sheet one, so with the sheet name or, or the tab name, and you could just easily manually enter that or select it using select data range. But since we are already in the right place, we don't have to do that. And then the second parameter here is the criteria. And in order to create a drop down, there are two options, list from a range or list of items. So if I select list from a range, I can just select a range that I have already uh, created. And as you can see, I have that on the left hand side. So let's start with that option here, list from a range. And then on the right hand side, I could either uh, enter a range or a formula or I can just select it. So I'm going to go here on the square um, symbol or the four square symbol and go on select data range. And now I'm just going to drag and drop and not drag and drop, just drag and select the data range here. And after that, I go on OK. Then I have the option here, show, show drop down list in cell. Yes, that's exactly what we want. And um, on invalid input, I have uh, two options, either show a warning. So if someone enters something that should not be uh, or is not in that range, like really, really good, then uh, it would show a warning or I can simply go on reject input so you cannot enter uh, that value. But let's start with show a warning and then I can also select that I want to add a help so it will um, show um, an error and also help um, the user with this uh, entry here. Click and enter a value from range. This is what the user will see when um, there is a mistake and a value is entered that is not accepted. So now I go on save and as you can see now we have this downward uh, facing pyramid here, this arrow and when I click on it I have all these values. Also uh, note that now I have like a smart search field here. If I start to type very good it's auto completing and then only showing me the options um, that match that. So I could say very bad. So yeah, but often you also want to use that for multiple cells and not just one. Uh, what you can do here is just you drag and you drag it down just like that. And now you have this uh, drop down list uh, for all the cells that uh, you selected. Perfect, that works great. Let's have a look at a second example here. Now we also have the grades from A to F. Here I'm going to uh, click into the cell again. I select data once more and then data validation. 
So cell range is selected. This time we're gonna choose list of items. Now I have the option to manually enter the items I wanna have in this drop-down list. So I can just start typing them here. And as you can see, we have A. It's important that you always enter a comma after the value. So uh, no space like A, B, C, D, O, E, and F. So these are the values I wanna have in the drop-down. Um, this time we're gonna select reject input and uh, now we can go on to save again. Let's check if it worked. Yes, A, B, C, D, E, F. I just drag it down and now let's say we enter G. As you can see now, there is a warning, like there was a problem, then the data cannot en be entered. So um, yeah, it's very easy to see how this can be helpful if you create a um, sheets document and you wanna have people enter certain uh, data, but it needs to be within a, a certain range or certain values that you uh, allow. So this is really, really helpful. And um, yeah, this was uh, basically the tutorial how to create a drop-down list in Google Sheets. I really hope uh, this uh, little tutorial was helpful. If so, please give it a like, follow our channel and also hit the notification bell so you're always notified when new videos uh, come out. This was Daniel from Trusted Tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.